Welcome back to the Abington Co. channel. My name is Abington and you are in the place where we go on adventures with women. We do amazing watch videos. We just have a lot of fun on this channel. This is Teresa Contreras and she is a part of a family owned business. She's part owner in Okay, L-G-E-C-T-S. Yep. I got that right. Yep. Perfect. There's a lot of letters in that. Yep. And, um, Big acronym. I, I We went for that. You just went for the whole <laughs> <laughs> So I guess I see myself mostly as a designer and a custom painter. I grew up around cars, motorcycles. Uh, again, that's, what, that's why L-G-E-C-T-S is motorsports because it's like kind of all encompassing that way because I like to work on anything kind of with a motor, you know? I prefer off-road vehicles. That's just because I love off-roading. So, and we're gonna do that today. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's get a whole day in because that's what I do. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna sand, we're gonna paint, and then we're gonna off road because that's what these vehicles are capable of doing. Up top, I don't know that much about the automotive space, but because we came out with a watch Jordan, which you have on um, as part of our automotive line, I've always been an enthusiast. But this is really getting behind the curtain. So she's gonna show us her world. You you messed up yesterday. I love to make so many colors that almost look identical. So I did a little test panel, sprayed it, put it on there. Looked pretty close. Even looks kind of close, except when you go at a different angle. <laughs> so from far away, it looks like I painted it the right color, and then all of a sudden it just hit me, and I was like, I forgot the white. And you didn't put white in the formula. Yep. So we had to redo it today. So that's what we're doing today. So we're here to teach Abington how to blend and paint a vehicle. And then we're gonna go off-road. <laughs> and then we're gonna off-road, yes. I wish we would be off-roading this, but we're gonna be doing our Ford Ranger, which is super so rad too. So cool. And it's got a lot of the builds, that, a lot of the products that you build yep. on the Ford Ranger. Our Baja Ford Ranger line, yeah. yeah. Yep. So we're gonna check those out too. Yep, that's right. Let's start. Okay. Let's, Let's do it. Get to work. Get to work. Right? some elbow grease now. So the first thing we got to do is sand. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> it is everything that everyone's like, why do we have to do that? Uh, everyone dreads it. Um, but it's tedious, I do but it's have necessary. this amazing sandpaper. Um, so what we're doing today is we're doing a blend on it. Okay. Um, so, so we don't really want to like scratch the surface a lot. This is actually a 600 sandpaper from Eagle Abrasives. And it's on cloth. That, yes, it's their Super Acelix line. And so, I, this is my favorite. It's you like- You can't get this at Home Depot. Liter no, no, but it's one of my favorite sandpapers. And it lasts so long. It doesn't harm the surface when you do a blend. So you don't see the scratches, but it's aggressive enough to feel like you accomplished something when you're sanding, which is really hard to find in the sandpaper. Now we go from making this shiny to making it dull. Okay. So the biggest part of that is that uh, we're basically making a surface so that the uh, the paint and the clear can attach to, and that's why we're, we're sanding it down. Uh, but again, we're using the 600. So most of it, what you're gonna see is you wanna get almost all of it so it's not shiny anymore. So right now I was going like this. Typically, some of those, you will get some of those formed lines in there. Mm -hmm. We're doing it lighter. So we actually wanna go sideways so that this surface is a flat surface and not your fingers directionally. Oh, sure, because that's making lines. impression because you've got, yep. yeah. So I will kind of do this type of motions. You see it's going, it's, it's going through it right away. Yeah, that's what fast. I love about this sandpaper. It's, it works. You can see results pretty quickly. Yeah. And and again, still it's it's it lasts a long time. So I'm using a used piece. I gave you a brand new one. I've already used this piece a couple times, and you can see how well it works. Nice. Yeah. So, Very cool. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do this whole section. We're also gonna do this up here. Oh, we're doing the entire the, vendor. All of it. <laughs> all of it needs to look like this. When you mess up, girl. This is a. 2021 Ford Bronco. Okay. And pretty much it's the, it's the first one out right now of the, the next generation. What do they call this? The sixth generation Bronco. And it's kind of cool. I actually got to be part of the expert panel on the design team. I don't know if really? I mentioned that to no. you. No. So that, I mean, was an honor in itself. They're amazing, you know, 
designers, of racers, all, all kinds of people on that panel. So it was just cool to be part of that. Yeah, it's looking great. Yep, totally. And see how fast did that go, right? Good so job. So if the wash company doesn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll finish with the sanding. Um, we'll block off the other colors. Yes. And then we're gonna paint it. Yes. We are ready to tape. Woo! And I love to tape. <laughs> so we're going to mask off these other colors so that all of this surface is exposed. So notice, so when I, when I pull tape, um, you don't, you're not holding it right here. You notice I'm pulling it over here, far away. Yeah. I pull it tight, almost close to it, and then I start to line it up because that's what makes it straight. Got it. These are my tape bracelets. I literally went all the way on an airline to Saudi Arabia with tape bracelets on. <laughs> it's so funny. But that's just me, I guess. I, I. I just forget and I don't even realize like I have things like that on me all the time. So now that we've cleaned the surface and we've masked it and now we're ready to spray it. So actually we have to mix the correct color. So we'll do that. So this is a formula that I have. So you'll see as Proprietary, I we can't put this on camera, huh? No. Yeah. Got it. Totally. It's this not. Is, this is our one that we named Sawaro. Oh. Like the cactus. I like it. Oh, it's so pretty. Isn't that rad? This is like, I love to see that. I love. Oh, this sounds like one of the dogs coming to visit, huh? <laughs> Hi. Opens the door right up and comes up. <laughs> Basically, we want to stay parallel to the surface when we're spraying. So, you will see me like pivot and move according to what that surface looks like. So when it's here, I'm spraying this way in that section. I'm not spraying it like this because you have a fan that's coming out of here. And so you're trying to get that surface and be flat. And so again, you're any way and you're any direction moving it so that you're always parallel to that surface like that. This is a dual action gun. So when you spray, when I pull it, the first trigger, trigger is only air. So I fill it and it's about this wide. So I'm gonna make it a little bit wider. I sprayed it nice, dry, and even. I didn't put tons of paint at one time. So very lightly on the trigger. So again, like this is just the air. And I, I, I pulled it back just a hair more. All right, here it goes. So it's getting wet right here. So we want to keep that so it stays dry. Okay. So yes, I was going into other areas, um, but I'm going to have you stay in that area. I'm going to blend the rest of it. This looks more like the color. So everything was masked up. We, we sprayed, we blended some of the edges and stuff like that. You yep. painted too? Yeah. As soon as it's dry, then we can unmask it. Okay. Okay. So as soon as it's unmasked, then we go to the next step or the last step, which is clear coat. Perfect. We'll go off road first and then yeah. we'll come back and clear. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Sunset drive. Oh. The 
Ford Bronco was born out here. They still bring it out for testing. Um, people are literally out here every day testing and, and doing just photo shoots. I think there's a lot of beauty in the desert that people don't understand or see. They get lost by all the brown. Yeah. And they don't realize the, that there's like 30 different shades of brown in, right. just in front of your eyes. And then there's 400 other shades yeah, of I know. other colors. That's totally how I am. Oh my gosh, look at all the color. It's super pretty up here though. This is gorgeous. Yeah. It's just a great spot. to like you know like you said it's it the paint's drying so it's a way to spend our time while the paint dries i, I like that <laughs> we're gonna grab some food and then go do the clear coat let's do it cool i like it Teresa, <laughs> that was phenomenal i mean that that's was... just what i do all the time right okay that's not what other people do all the time <laughs> that's not normal that nothing about what we just did was normal it was a good little break wasn't it it was a really nice break that's exactly why I like building vehicles like this, is to go do that kind of stuff. Yeah. And now the paint is all dry. It is, yes. Now, now we gotta so we're, get back to work. We're untaping it, mm -hmm. taking that tape off. It's like Christmas day when you do that, because it's like, oh, that reveal, you know? There's no science to this. You're just peeling it. There's no science. No, yeah. Um, I mean, you do want to make sure, so so the way we did it, we sprayed it really dry. Yeah. That's nice and even. Um, when I pull it off, I'm not, I mean, I try to pull it back. So it's nice and even, but it uh, looks like we have like little, like barely like zero edge. Um, we didn't, we already had that color on there, so we really like blended that up to it. So mm -hmm. it has a nice, uh, oh. and, and things like that happen where you, have a tiny piece of tape. All right, I can. Okay. okay, and then. Does that give you a heart attack when you see like a no, white? No, because I know. And yeah. like I said, I know I can clean that. So very, very little edge, which is really nice. You washed your hands, right? I did. Okay, so when you feel like that, you can just barely, just the edge. Yeah. Fill it, very yeah. little. So I'm even like knocking it off with my hand. And all of this right now that you see, most of it's like uh, the tackiness from the tape. Sometimes it's just glue. It's mm -hmm. like stuck on there or something. Um, so I can see that. I just brush my hand on it. Nice. There we go. This was 
was awesome, Teresa. Yeah, thanks for helping me today. I mean, that was rad. We, I pro I pro you probably took like three times as long, but uh, we That's had a lot fine. of fun. I know. And uh, yeah, you showed me a completely new skill set that I will at least know okay. about. I don't know if I'm gonna start my own paint shop. I mean, but your Mini Cooper. I'm gonna bring the Mini by, we're gonna do oh, that. Oh, now you're gonna bring it by. Oh, wait, you're supposed to be doing it. <laughs> no, we'll do the bike. Uh, so 100%, yeah. if you haven't seen the video where I refurb a bike that I picked up because my bike was stolen, I'll link that either above or down in the description. But that was one of the biggest comments that everybody was giving me was like, oh, the paint's really rough yeah. on that. You might wanna redo the paint. And now... Lens to a new de new episode that you can all watch. Tell people how are they able to find you and also what uh, can you do for them? Like if they wanted to get some work done with LGE CTS or with Baja Forge, like what are the things that people need to know to get a hold of you? Yeah, sure. So uh, you can find us on Instagram at uh, LGE underscore CTS Motorsports and at Baja Forge and myself personally at Design Muse. Um, so, and then you can go to our website as well, lge-cts.com, uh, bajaforge.com. And basically, you know, I mean, we love to go off-roading, so we do a lot of off-roading activities that you guys can all be part of. We actually teach off-roading as well. Oh, so, yeah. nice. We just want more people to get into this stuff. So it's like we teach painting, we teach off-roading. Um, I'm part of Real Deal Revolution, so realdealrevolution.org. That's a great one too, um, getting more women involved in the skill trades, you know, because that's what it's about, right? Awesome. Yeah. Well, this has been phenomenal. Awesome. And if you guys enjoy this, please give it a like. Uh, it definitely helps out. And also, if you enjoy the channel and you've checked out some of our videos, then go ahead and subscribe if you want to feel empowered, if you want to find out stories about badass women, if you like watches like I do. Uh, we've got tons of great content, all just featuring amazing women like Teresa. Please go ahead, click the subscribe, hit the bell next to it, and you'll get notified of our new videos. And um, yeah, we will see you guys on the next episode. See you next time. Peace.